good afternoon Mr. Barra, just a short video to show you some of the controls of your new car. We'll give you a quick walk around as you can see, it hasn't quite been valeted yet and it's still got all the stickers on from delivery, but before it gets to you, it'll have a full valet and have the paint protection pack all applied and fitted. As you can see, it's a great pulse red. To show you in the boot, before we go inside and show you some of the controls, hopefully this does make it a bit easier for you. We've got the parcel shelf, as you can see you've got the diamond bright pack, You've got the mats, they'll be fitted after they're cleaned, and you do have the underliner tray. Underneath, you see it comes with an inflation kit, you've got a luggage net there, and you've got the tow right. On the back seats, there's more wrapping, but as you'll see, nice leather seats with the electric windows on the rear. Moving forward to the front driver's seat, start with the door. You see you've got auto automatic wipers, wing mirrors, sorry, get my words right. Um, left and right controls to adjust it. You've got your central locking, unlocking lock. Um, cancel the rear windows in the back so children can't play around with them. And your normal controls for the electric windows as well. You also notice you've got an upgraded sound system in the crown. As we move into the car, the driver's seat is, and the petrol, it's electric and so is the passenger. You do this one for the seat forward and backwards, backrest. This one for up and down. This one for forwards and backwards. And these ones, a few lumbar support in and out. Moving to this side here, what you'll notice you have is blind spot warning. I don't know if you're familiar with it, but if someone's in your blind spot, it will flash up. And if you try to pull out, it will beep at you as well. You've got lane departure warning. Again, when you're driving along, if anyone, if you try to steer out of the lane or drift, it will flash at you and again, beep. You've got traction control. That's a battery reset. That's so you don't have to jump start it. That's what you do instead of jump starting it. Just get in, turn the engine on. To turn this engine on, it's right foot on the brake or left push button start that will automatically start the engine not just the ignition as you can hear if I'm silent you can't hear the engine start this won't start unless it's cold conditions or you have all the heating and controls on it clearly shows the EV mode has started and um, that's why it's so silent down on the middle you have the gear stick behind here you've got a push button so if you push that in with your foot on the brake, you can go all the way down to drive, neutral and reverse. I'll leave it in park for now. You do have electric handbrake, so it's pull up to stop. And when you put it into drive or reverse, it does automatic release. But if you want to put it up or put it down yourself, it's just push down or pull up. Um, on here, you've got your heated seats for passenger and cooled seats, your parking sensor button. So they're automatically on when you put it in reverse, but if you want to turn them off, and you just press the button, it'll light up, that's it off. Driver's side, again, heated and cooled. Got three different settings on both, and you do also have a heated steering wheel for the driver as well. Behind here, you'll see you've got your spare USB for charge, with a nice, it lights up nicely, and then you've got your 12 volt as well. You've got your USB cable there as well. This is ideal for CarPlay or Android Auto. And you also do have the wireless charge plate for compatible smartphones. Moving up, you have your heating control this side, and you also have the fan speed this side. And air cons push in, push out, and if auto works the same. You've got off completely, or you can turn it back on. You can have the driver only, not passenger. Decide where you want it pointing. As you can see, it changes. And you've got your front screen where the fans will go fully to the front or the rear screen where it will heat the rear screen. And you've got the circulation settings. Moving up even further, you find you have um, our touch screen. What you get on here, this is your home screen. If you touch it, that will give you the sat nav. Um, if you go to home, that will bring you back. But if we'll quickly show you some sat nav. If you go to the three lines, go to route, route options, 
this will show you all the different settings you've got. So at the moment, it's got the fastest route, but you can change this to short, fast, and then different traffic signals for using the ferry, avoid toll roads, all the bits um, you can fiddle around with. And if you go back um, and go swipe across, it'll bring you up to the other menu. And this menu, if you move it across again, you have more um, options there. You also get a USB video, um, map that brings you back to that one if you don't have it set on your front screen. And let me start again, navigation. Navigation is where you go, you put your address in, postcode, and then so on, and it's okay, okay, and it sets it through it for you. You can save them with a dress book, and you can have Hyundai Live, because you can also get a Blue Link app. Um, I'll go more into that later. If you swipe back across, I'll go through some of the other settings for you. So you get your hybrid. This gives you a breakdown of where the when the engine kicks in, um, whether it's using the motor, the battery, the energy flow, your miles per gallon, how much you've used the electric. Um, and then you've also got here, your miles per gallon, you can have set aside on that screen there. So if I click on it, it will give you a bit more of a graph and then you can reset it at any point. And if you go to energy flow, you can have it a bit bigger screen. So you see how much battery is in there and um, what you're using at what time. Um, if you go to Blue Link, this is the Blue Link I was telling you about. Um, you get a Blue Link app. It's Blue Link Europe app um, on smartphones. I'll send you another link for that. Um, it gives you a bit more of an explanation how to link it up. Uh, but once you have done so with your phone, um, you can have the weather, you can have, um, you, with these ones, you can unlock and lock your car without you being near it. So I use one of these as a demo and I can lock it from home if I wanted to, um, or it notifies you if it's been unlocked. Um, it's quite a useful app um, and there's a few other bits you can do with it. Um, Hyundai Live, that's part of it. So once you do that, it links up Hyundai Live. So it gives you the updates. Um, you get CarPlay um, with that plugged in for the USB that will light up automatically. I'm not sure if you have um, either Android or Apple. Um, with CarPlay, you don't need an app. With Android Auto, you will. It's a free app, but as soon as you plug it in, you click through the settings and accept on your own phone, and then it automatically mirrors your screen. Um, only certain apps. Um, again, I can send you another link, um, which explains them a bit better. You've got your phone. So if I click on your phone, um, it gives you the option to so get hands-free and audio. So you get wireless Bluetooth music and phone. Um, and then it's Kona, so it's easy. So as soon as you're in, um, if you go to your settings in your phone, uh, click Bluetooth, click on phone, and then you'll come up to Kona, pair, and then just accept the pairing. And then that's you connected. And it'll come up with a little bit up here, showing your phone's connected. Um, the iManual, you can scan the QR code and it will give you the actual manual. Um, and you've got favorite apps. So you can change it so you've got some favorites there for you, depends on which ones you use the most. Behind this sticker here is the radio. Um, the radio, DAB, AM, and FM. So I'll keep it with DAB for now. Um, you can go to a favorites list and you have plenty to choose from if you want to add that many, whether you listen to that many radio stations. Um, it's quite simple. So if you go to list, you go to say radio two, I know it's already saved, but we say radio two. Um, just so you know it's on. If you go to favourites, press and hold, adds it again, and you can do that the whole way through. Oh, sorry. And then if you've got a phone connected with Bluetooth, USB, um, media will come up, and then that highlights, and you get to flick through what you'd like to listen to. You've also got these buttons along here. So you've got map, if you just want it to have the map. Navigation, that's a shortcut to go to the address for you. Uh, so you can put in the new postcode. Um, you've got favorites, so instead of going to the screen I showed you, you can click that one. These are all shortcuts. So you can change your home screen, so you can have hybrid mode favorites. Um, so you can sort of play around with it and have what you prefer. You've got the radio, you've got media, like I said, moment, no source detected. And then you've got setup. With setup, 
it's again you can do the phone this way so if you've already got a phone paired and you're sitting in the car if you go to bluetooth connections you can add new you can have a, a few different phones connected and you can decide which ones you want as priority um, and same with the android auto and carplay um, different sound settings again i'm not going to play around with this side of it but if you didn't like the way the sound was coming out you can play around with that data and network so active blue link again this will be all in the um, video i'll send you for the blue link general settings so gps time 24 hour daylight saving at the moment it's all set up if you want it 24 hour that's up to you um, i'll leave it 24 hour for now but if you wanted it off it's just simple there um, language it's already set to english if you wanted to change the language again that's up to you uh, keyboard have it standard quirky keyboard um, if you want to change it again you can play around there i won't touch it now screen save you can have none you can have the clock analog or digital um, at the moment i'll leave it at none but again that's that's your preference and then system information um, you shouldn't have have to touch that but it's all for the memory manuals um, if you go to advanced, this will give you different um, sort of map settings, different steering wheel mode buttons. Um, you can have a play around with that. I won't do it today because um, I don't want to change any of the settings from default. I never have with any of the demos I've been in and they work perfect. But if you did want to have a play around, because I'm sure we'll probably have quite a bit of time on our hands, then feel free. Um, scroll across and it's voice recognition so with that um you can talk to the car and that's how you tune it into getting ready to hear your voice if we come back out of that i'll swipe again and um, we've been through these and we've been through this side usb video i can't remember if i touched on it but if you have a usb attached into here just a normal usb memory stick um if you have videos films anything like that on there you can plug it in as long as you're not driving the car's in park you can actually play movies or w whatever you'd like videos on this screen here but as soon as you put it into drive the picture cuts out to black and you only hear the sound maybe a useful bit of information if you ever did want to use it um here you've got two cup holders you've got two keys identical there's no master and um not master here hold that won't automatically open the boot it's not an electric boot but what that will do is just unlock the boot for you um, it's keyless so it's a push button on the door i'll show you when i get out how that works for leaving the car and then underneath um, the battery if you slide that across and pull it gives you the actual key to get in you'll be able to lock and unlock the car with this key but there isn't any slot for that key in here as you see it's just push button Onto the steering wheel, you've got the adjuster for the height and pulling in and out. You also have auto lights or side lights or full beam. Um, normal is pull back for your full beam lights. Again, they're auto, so if you click it in and then push it back, that sets it up for auto. You probably be able to see that on there. That's the light set at auto for full beam. So when you drive along country lane, they'll automatically come on full beam when there's no other cars coming the other way. They're quite good at recognizing that if there is, and then push it back to disconnect. You've got your fog lights. This side, you've got your wipers. So up one, as you see, that's set to auto. I'll turn it off for now, and you've got twist for the rear. Here you've got your, um, for the gears, uh, up and down on the paddles. This side is a voice recognition button. So what you'll get is if you click that. Please say a command. It talks back to you. I'll cancel that before it starts recognizing my voice and want me to tune in. But that's how you do that. And you can say a command of text or ring or change address, anything like that. It, you'll get used to the commands it can do. Um, you've got your phone, answer and cancel. You've got your volume up and down and you've got your station up and down. That's all for the radio. This side, you get your um this will change the inside so this will flick through this screen here for you i'm just clicking it once and it's going through and then underneath you get the toggle what that does is as you'll see it flicks between the different settings there for you so you can see the miles per gallon At the moment it's not a true reflection because it's only driven 13 minutes only six miles so 
you won't you won't understand that quite yet you have digital display for the speedo and then you can see the driving styles that also shows you where your energy is coming from and your engine temperature and transmission temperature just something you can just keep an eye on click again this is for your map so just give you the directions on the map if you've got a route set this one if you have your lane keep assist on that will um that will pick up the two lines either side they'll go green if it is connected and it reads the lines and then you've got more settings here so you get an okay button here so you've got heads up display so you can change around with that again i'm not going to play around with that but if you did want to change the brightness or ever or however that sits it's up to you uh, door so you've got auto lock auto unlock lights one touch indicator head up lamp so one touch indicator you can just do the lane change so that's just by knocking it up without actually putting it full on that's like the lane change sound so it will dip the volume in park when you put it when you're parking so when you put it in reverse convenience welcome mirrors wireless chargers all connected wipers auto rear wipers so that's all set up ready so this is part of the pdi that's why i'm not playing around with it service interval um so again it's six, 361 days or 621 miles uh, let me go back other features fuel economy tire pressure that's all in there as well so there's even more settings than that main screen and um, what you have here on this side here that's your fuel and this side here that's the battery level you don't have to worry about that because you don't have to plug it in you'll see that fluctuate from full to quite low it never really goes to zero um, but more you brake or if you sharp brake it will jump up and more you hard accelerate it goes down you just watch how much battery you've got and you'll see the EV as you're driving along cruising along you will see EV pop in and out At the moment EV is not in because the engine's just kicked in because we sat here the air cons on um, so it will fluctuate in between um, the dial it will drop into charge when you're braking um, and it will sit normally in eco unless you put your foot to the floor it'll go into power that's when the engine will kick in again um, and you've got that side there bottom right you've got how many miles it's done bottom left is the temperature and at the top is how much fuel you've got left it also shows you if you put foot on the brake that you're in reverse the sensor grid comes up and you also get the rear camera Put it into neutral, it comes into neutral there, and put it into drive, it goes to drive there. Put it back up into park and pull the handbrake up. You might be able to see on the camera, but you've got the heads up display. I don't know if I can angle it, you should be able to see it here. So that's just showing you you've got your lane assist on. If I turn that off, that disappears. Turn it on, it comes back, and it will show you uh, the, how fast you're going. So button down now I just pressed is that one that drops it down and it tucks away you press it again and it comes out what you also get up here is you get the sunglasses holder and you get your lights so I'll leave them on so when you open the doors they will automatically come on if you want to use them manually it's just push and you've got the rear one as well in the glove box this will be organized better for you but you have your pack with the service book you also have some manuals there for you as well and you do have some spare nuts and the lock and wheel nut key but like i say this will be re-sanitized and um, when they wash it i'll make sure the book packs are all tidy and all in the folder for you one last thing is when i get out i'll show you um the push button lock and that should be majority of it showed you um but if you do get any more questions along the way that's not a problem just give me a call look back on this video um if you have any questions on the day um i'll be there to answer them no sorry i won't be because it's getting delivered but you just give me a call that's not a problem but hopefully this video helps and if i've missed anything just let me know i don't mind helping turn the engine off And then on here, what you get is, see where you put the key, if you need to unlock it or lock it, push button, and then put some mirrors in, doors locked. You have to be a meter away from the car 
within a meter away from the car for it to work. If, you, if the keys are any further away, it will not pick it up. Hopefully this has helped. I look forward to getting the car to you.